Uh, how was the news delivered to you, and what was your reaction? Uh, Coach Elton called me into his office with Coach Harrell there, and uh, you know it's it's always uh, it's just nothing changes for me. Just come out here and just compete and do everything I can do. For you, you were coming in, you know, as an early enrollee. I know you said before that you were just happy to even get an opportunity to compete. Now being elevated to second on the depth chart, just generally, what was your reaction when you heard that news? I mean, please, but also uh, just a lot of room for improvement. You know, um, being number two is, is great because you're one play away, but at the same time, you're not number one and you're not the guy. So uh, there's always, always room for improvement. Do you feel like you vibed pretty quickly just with this offense, like it was well suited to your skill set and you picked it up pretty quick? Yeah, I think so. Um, it's I've never run anything like it before, but it, I really like playing in it and uh, it works really well with our personnel. Were you any surprise at all when you got the news? Um, I had nothing coming in. Just, you just have any? no. I was just coming out here and playing my best. And, um, whatever happened, happened. And, you know, it's out of my control. What do you feel like you got to do moving forward to be number one? Uh, just be more consistent um, out here. You know, good days and bad days, but you got to turn those bad days into good days to be more consistent and just play better overall. What do you feel like you took from the two scrimmages? Um, just learn to play smart and not make any mistakes, like cash dropping mistakes. You know. Um, not take any risky throws, you know. In practice, it's easy to throw a pick and move on because you get the ball back. But in a scrimmage, it's, it's a live environment, so you can't have any turnovers. And that situational ball too. You can't on third and one. You got to hand the ball off and stuff like that. Having that spring experience, do you feel like over these last few weeks, you've been able to really settle in and kind of show everything you wanted to, and maybe that might have helped. Yeah, that definitely helped a lot. Um, I mean, coming in this fall, you didn't have. You're kind of putting everything more into full speed, and in the spring, we have. You know, we don't have as many practices either. We have a day in between, so um, a lot more time to understand the offense. I know coming in, you really believed in yourself, but was there a moment when you realized that you really, where you stood and how much you belonged here? Um, not a moment specifically, but I mean, just having success out here and completing balls and, and feeling confident in myself that, you know, that that's what helped me, I guess. How much bigger, stronger are you when you came in in January? Um, it's probably 195 when I came in. I'm like 2 210 now. Are there particular areas that you feel like moving forward, whether it be like in the media or in the long term, that you really want to hone in on and improve? Um, just like consistency, as I said before. Yeah. And there's, that comes with a lot of different things, but I think that's going to come with a lot more reps and experience too on the field. Like it's, this is my first year here, so um, that's going to come with time. But at the same time, I have to, to really focus on my craft and, and get better that way. When this month started, what did you think was possible for you? Um, anything. I didn't, didn't really think about it like that. But as I said before, you know, just coming out here and playing your best. And the, who, who's, who is where on the depth chart, it's not, not really something you can control. So. When you talk to people back home and they see how this turned out, what do they tell you? What kind of reaction did you get yesterday? Um, I guess they're, they're happy for me. But uh, at the same time, that was kind of a weird deal because, you know, people are saying congratulations and you, you want to be the guy, you know. So, um, but hats off to everyone else. You know, Matt and Jack really, really handled it really well for for uh, their situation, and uh, you know JT's JT's done a really good job as well. You talked to the older guys like Matt and Jack afterward about yeah how it all played out with yeah them. no they handled it extremely well like first class guys really um, you know they both both congratulated me um, and you know they're great teammates. Let's go one more. We're good JT, you know giving you any advice considering you know you, now you're in a pretty premier role you know backup when you're a true freshman. I mean just just normal stuff and uh, nothing crazy but. You know, just on the field and help me hone my craft and become better as a, as a football player.